Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning into today's uh, second or third video, depending on whether you're a channel member or not. So, this is our 10th 14 day, we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Day 10 will take us to the 26th of August, and we'll be able to send out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles, maybe run to around a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. But the next four weeks gets us through the first half of September. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first, brilliant sales, that's 6 UK weather forecast. And we've also released the ECM at WF42 Day exclusively for channel members. So uh, check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Uh, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you, everyone, for doing that. Right, going to start off in the tropical Atlantic. So we've got a, a yellow X just here. That's disturbance. One only attempt percent chance of cyclone formation with that. Don't worry, have to worry too much about that, I don't think. But we have also got Hurricane Erin. Uh, now giving maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. So that is a category three hurricane powered up very, very quickly. Major hurricane and this major hurricane is going to uh, continue over the uh, next few days gradually pushing northwards uh, between the Bahamas and Bermuda heading up through the Atlantic Ocean there if we go through to discussion we can see that uh, this is going to become a Category 4 hurricane, a high-end Category 4 hurricane. So already giving maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. Going to go up to maximum sustained of 150 miles per hour in the next 12 and 24 hours. So I say that's a very, very, very powerful storm. High end category four hurricane. Only I think nine miles per hour off a category five hurricane actually. So a tremendous uh, power with this storm and powered up very, very quickly and will continue to do so. Will then gradually uh, weaken, but still a major hurricane, even at 72 hours uh, out, to gradually goes back down. So category two status by the time you get through to 120 hours out. Very, very, very significant storm here. There's a lot of uh, messages to read about Hurricane Erin. If you're at all concerned, then uh, check out the advisories at the National Hurricane Center. Link to the National Hurricane Center in the description with the video. Right, uh, latest wind from out from Earth. So come back to home. Latest wind from out from Earth. Nordschool.net shows high pressure taken over. But unfortunately, we're bringing quite a lot of cloud today. On these east and northeast winds, I think much of it will burn back to the east coast this afternoon. Best of sunshine and highest temperatures today will be in more western regions. Let's drag the map around and miss is uh, Hurricane uh, Erin just here. Let's zoom in. Uh, looking quite dramatic there. Uh, that is what a major Category 4 hurricane uh, looks like. Well, Category 3, soon to be Category 4 hurricane uh, looks like there. That, everyone, is Hurricane Erin with a very, very, very nicely defined eye of the storm right in the center of it. Central temperature is sitting at 18.1, uh, that's 2.3 degrees above 61 to 99 average, and that's provisional to the 14th of August. These are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off with above average temperatures for the next three or four days. But we see those upper air temperatures coming down as we move through the course of next week, becoming cooler. And then the rest of August shaping up to be uh, close to average. Precipitation wise, a lot of dry weather to come over the next week or so, but turning more unsettled into the last week of August beginning of September. Has that more unsettled weather been pushed back by a couple of days, Mo? On your song graph? I think it might have done. <laughs> Temperature normally is for the next five days, 21st of August. A little bit below average for eastern regions, but to many central west areas above average. 10 to 14 day. Looks like that. Close to normal. 
precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, 21st of the 23rd of August, dry up and doable. Right, let's go through chart day 10. This is our latest UK bet. You're at run. Dr. McDonald choosing high pressure in control and staying that way through uh, much of next week. However, the wind will be coming in from the northeast, so be a bit on the cool side and probably dragging quite a lot of cloud with those north or northeast winds. So may carry on into bank holiday weekend as well. I can't again with high pressure between uh, Iceland and Scotland to be part next week. Drawing in that north easy throw, but bring some cooler, cloudy conditions in off the North Sea as well. So it relatively quiet, but quite coolish and quite cloudy sort of uh, week to come next week. There's the remains of Erin in the North Atlantic there by next weekend. The KMA uh, is looking like that. So again, we draw in those uh, northeasterly winds through the course of next week. There'll be quite a lot of cloud with them uh, as well. And then we head up towards day 10 with uh, this area of low, which of course contains remains of Erin moving in from off the Atlantic. So by the time we get through 28th August, month 10, we're in a different regime, low pressure dominating the weather and certainly a lot cooler and a lot more unsettled then. Big change for the end of August with the KMA. GFS big night run draws in that north, north easty wind again through next week. A lot of dry weather, but could be a bit cloudy. Into that cloudy weekend, the high pressure gradually weakens as lower pressure moves in from off the Atlantic. That's day 10, 26th of August, with low pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland. And uh, that low does contain the remains of uh, Hurricane Erin as well. So Hurricane Erin bringing a big change on both the KMA and the GFS midnight run uh, today. Low pressure then dominates the weather through to the end of August. Uh, so that gets us first of September, where we've got high pressure south, low pressure to the north, and we're in a flat westerly flow. I remember GFS 6 there by comparison, where it's all much of the for next week. High pressure out to the north and west, and we bring down that north to north easterly. So relatively quiet, but uh, could be a bit on the cool side. And then we go into Bank Holiday Weekend, the high pressure gradually breaks down as low pressure moves in from off the Atlantic. So around or just after day 10, low pressure vent is in control. That low contains the remains of Erin. Again, on both GFS runs, Erin bring a significant change to uh, the weather for us by the end of August. And we keep those relatively changeable conditions going through to the beginning of September too. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Moments and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. About 20 to 25 subscribers gets us to not uh, to 20.5k. So could give us stuff. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. GM again with high pressure. In the ascendancy through the middle part of next week, but away to the northwest, so we bring in that rather coolish and quite cloudy northeasterly. The high pressure sticks around into the bank holiday weekend as well, so relatively dry, quiet, but probably quite cool bank holiday weekend. By day 10, not much signs of unsettled weather, so uh, the GM perhaps, uh, perhaps moving back slightly towards higher pressure today. It'd be extended. And then the ECM rounds it all off again. The high pressure's away to the northwest through the uh, middle part of next week. We bring in most northeast winds. They'll bring quite a lot of cloud and coolish temperatures in with them as well. High pressure right through the country, Bank Holiday Weekend. Uh, ne uh, the following weeks, so this gets us into months there. We find uh, the remains of airing with this area of low breaking down the high. So off and running we go into a spell of unsettled. We're actually turning very unsettled with the uh, ECM low pressure. Well, in control there through to the 31st of August, which of course is the last day of the month. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from termmetro.com. So, again, we see a lot of dry up to come over the next few days. Some showers in the far west and northwest, but most places dry. We will be bringing quite a lot of cloud, though, with those uh, northeasterly winds. And by day 10, out to breaks of rain to the north and west, just threatening some wet weather then. And these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Guess the 26th of August, 17 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge through the west of Europe, a trough out in the Atlantic, mostly dry, could be a bit on the cool side. 12 with high pressure over the country again, low pressure out 
to the northwest, eight with a ridge more or less over country two. We've got a further eight with some sort of a ridge close to us. And then we've got six with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That looks more changeable and westerly. And then in two time, these are the options that we've got. Gets the 31st of August, 16 members of the ECM on songs with high pressure south, low pressure to the north, driest weather in the south there. 13 with low pressure over top of coach, that can be quite unsettled. 9 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, rather flat and westerly. We've got 7 with low pressure to the north, west, that looks quite unsettled. And we've got 6 with high pressure over top of coach. So, at day 10, looks like we're still mostly anti cyclonic, and that's a change from yesterday, I think. At day Day 14, a range of options. Could be uh, high pressure, could be low pressure. Not quite as certain today, but I don't think that we're turning it unsettled, courtesy of Erin. Despite those operational runs, actually, most of them, other than Jen, looking quite unsettled. So, again, bottom mayhem continues, as I said in yesterday's 10 to 14 day. We'll keep you updated. It's all down to the model struggling to uh, work out what's going to happen with major hurricane Erin, I think. And then the CFS finally, now these, uh, this, these CFS weeklies are from yesterday, from Jeremy Friday. So unfortunately the CFS weeklies haven't updated today. As we uh, showed BC Jeremy Friday, but rather than the 10th of autumn today, yesterday, I thought we'd show them uh, again uh, today. Hopefully the CFS weeklies will be updated tomorrow. So week one will be the 15th, to be 21st of August. High pressure dominates the weather in the next week. Week two is going to be the 22nd, 28th of August. High pressure weight to the northwest, low pressure to the north east. That brings down more of a north or a north easterly uh, wind. Week 3 looks more changeable. Some uh, lower pressure in the Atlantic. And then uh, week 4 also looking quite mixed. This is the 5th through to the 11th of September. Low pressure west of the UK and Ireland. Implying that the 1st half of September could be quite unsettled we'll see okay we're done if you've enjoyed the video please like share subscribe make sure you're for doing that job comment let's so what you think about this and all my videos and content don't forget to tell friends about guys we get to subscribe to make sure you're doing for doing that tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a.m uk weather forecast 10 to 14 day i'll try and get the next autumn update done i'm very late uh with that sorting that out uh this week so i may have run out of time really to get that together if so then uh, we'll have an autumn update for you uh, next Sunday. Uh, where well, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.